LLMs technically take sequences of text, turn them into embeddings, process them through transformer, and predict the next token based on the entire context. You might think nowadays we can also send an image to GPT as well. And yes, these are called VLMs. VLMs actually follow the same logic as LLMs. Both vision and text turn into embeddings and flow through the transformer. The model uses this shared space to predict the next language token based on the image and the text. So we don't have any output regarding the physical space. And that's where VLA comes into the action. And the inputs are the image, the text, and the robot's own body state. All of these become embeddings and get processed by the same transformer backbone, just like in LLMs and VLMs. And on top of this backbone, there is an action generation head. In some models, it's a diffusion flow matching model. In others, it's a simpler MLP head, which takes this latent representation and turns it into a sequence of low-level actions. 